All right, this is going to be a video of this 52-inch Hampton Bay brand Renwick ceiling fan that I got at my local Habitat Restore. I got it because, for those who don't know, I'm actually a volunteer there, and basically what I do for them is refurbish ceiling fans, or see better nation, and make them more sellable and run better than how they previously came in. Just for anyone who is wondering, Hampton Bay is actually a Home Depot brand that makes all kinds of furnishings for around the house, but mainly focuses on ceiling fans and lighting. To actually make the fans for them, they chose a whole bunch of different manufacturers over different periods of time. This one, just like a lot of their newer models, is actually made by Aircool. I thought I might as well point out that the fan is remote controlled, as you can see here. And I'm going to begin by demonstrating the light kit. As you can see, this is functioning. And I'm using a pair of energy saving halogen bulbs in there, which are 60 watt equivalent each. And it does have a dimmer function, so I'll demonstrate that. It's about as dim as it can go. It actually looks uh, brighter on camera than it is in real life. And I'll bring it back up to full brightness here. Turn that off. Now for the fan itself, starting out with the high speed. And if anyone wants to know the exact information about RPM, CFM, amps, watts, the fan used on each speed, and that sort of thing, that can all be found down in the description below the video because Hampton Bay was kind enough to include that with the instructions. And I must say, for a modern 52 inch hugger fan, it actually does have pretty decent performance. Uh, it's pretty quiet, uh, blows a decent amount of air, and it's also rather stable when it runs. Next, for medium speed. Medium does slow down quite a bit on the fan. Uh, so in my personal opinion, the speeds are a little bit disproportionate and uh, kind of off. But uh, I guess that's just how the fan was designed. And last but not least, the low speed, which I'll show with the fan light on running simultaneously here. The fan actually has a nice graceful low speed to it, and it's a little bit slower than uh, some other modern 52 inch fans of today. Anyway, I'm going to turn the uh, fan and light off here. And I'm going to be discussing some general information on the fan. The reason this actually ended up at the ReStore is because it was a return from Home Depot. And it was returned because the original switch housing and like it assembly was missing. So the globe, switch housing, all that stuff you see on there is actually not original. Now, the switch housing you see on here uh, was previously white, but I spray painted it to actually match the fan. Now, it isn't necessarily an ideal replacement, because uh, you can see it's slightly smaller than the original one would have been, and also it has pull chains, but it's really the best I could do. And same goes with the globe, as you can see it's kind of small, but again, I didn't really have any better parts at the moment. And to finish off the video here, I'm going to be discussing the pros and cons on the fan, and what I would rank it out of 5 stars, beginning with the pros. I overall uh, quite like the look of the fan, uh, definitely blends contemporary and traditional elements quite well, making it a transitional style fan. As you can see, the motor housing has a nice sleek design, uh, but also some um, traditional elements like the blade brackets and the light kit, so it's definitely a nice combination. Another thing is the fan is quite versatile because the blades are reversible. The side that's facing down now is the dark maple, and the other side, which I'll show here, is apparently walnut, but to me, 
it almost looks more like a dark pine. But I'm just going by what the box said. Anyway, I'll move the camera back here. Also, the fan can be installed with or without light kit. Currently, I have it installed with light kit because uh, I think it looks quite nice, even with the smaller globe. But uh, installation without light kit is also an option. And besides the fan's good looks, it does also offer fairly decent quality, uh, as with a lot of air cool made Hampton Bays. And also, performance is pretty decent as well, at least for the age of the fan. What I don't like, however, is it is a little bit awkward to assemble, uh, being this is a hugger fan with remote control. Generally, uh, hugger fans are notorious for having difficulty um, to install with remotes. And really the main reason I chose to install this one with the remote is just because it was included. But um, if pull chains were actually an option from factory and uh, the globe that you see on here was actually meant for that, I probably just would have um, ditched the remote as, uh, like I said, it's kind of awkward to install the motor housing. Um, but you know, overall it isn't too bad of a fan. Fairly easy to assemble otherwise and actually decent quality. So I'd probably have to give it 3.5 out of 5 stars. Not a bad fan for what it is, probably would recommend it, uh, given that, uh, you know, it is actually better than uh, what Hunter is currently offering in a lot of their cheaper models. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video, and there's lots more to come.